Okay, this is just a quick video how to fix a problem in DaVinci Resolve when you are importing a clip and it immediately shows media offline but if you press play it will play sound but not image because there is a different problem if media is offline maybe you uh, move the footage somewhere else you can relink selected clips you can change the source folder this kind of stuff but this is specifically for those uh, for those times when you import it and it does not display the image so the problem is that DaVinci doesn't or cannot decode H.265 um, video properly there's a good article, I'm going to put it in the description, but this article is slightly misleading because it wants you to go to Microsoft Store and uh, buy like a little extension. You actually want another extension, which is called HEVC Video Extensions from the device manufacturer. And it's a free extension. I'm going to put the link in the description once again. You want this extension. It's free. And uh, once you've installed this extension, close and, and open probably uh, DaVinci Resolve, it will actually properly play your videos, H.265 videos, this is this extension. And uh, then when you import the footage, it's actually gonna uh, display properly uh, without any problems. So boom, now it's gonna be playing and it's gonna be all right. So that's the quick fix. Um, yeah, because it's kind of pretty stupid. Um, if you exported, like I uh, exported H.265 uh, clips from DaVinci Resolve and then I cannot like re-import them to use in like another video or something like that. That's just pretty fucking dumb. Um, so yeah, HAVC video extension from the device manufacturer, which will mean basically that I, I guess it taps into your video cards, like drivers or something like that, connects them uh, and you don't need to do anything else, which is exactly how it should be done by default. It is so weird that you have to install something like that for Windows 10, quite a solid operating system with years and years into development. Nothing like this ever happens on Mac OS, for example. That's why I think that operating system is much, much better for actual work, for video editing, for or, uh, perhaps like sound editing and some stuff like that because Windows is just like has stupid mistakes like that and even such a powerful and amazing free tool as DaVinci Resolve basically forces you to jump through hoops and actually search for the solutions when you should be creating your videos and instead you have to search Google and spend your time doing this stupid shit. Luckily once again it's quite a quick fix and it works so there there's that. Okay once again, um, I hope it helps, and uh, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to the channel and also share these videos around, okay? Or maybe like post them on Reddit, because it obviously helps to grow the channel, and uh, it will motivate me to create more of those tips and tricks videos that hopefully will be helpful to you all. Okay, thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye.